Right, we've got Mark White with us just before the, the game against York City at home. How are you, Mark? I'm right, mate, yeah. Right, the first question I need to ask you, obviously, uh, Walshy, Joe Walsh is in goal yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, last week you sort of thought it was him he'd blame that we lost the game. Of course it was. Well, that, I mean, that's how it works. threw him it? under the bus a little bit, I feel, but you anyway. He's under the bus, guys. Look, half the battle with these kids these days, there's no one, everyone fannies about of them. Right, it was Joe's fault, he knows that. He's a man, he's took it, and he's had a fantastic week. He's a great keeper. Um, that's how football works, mate. Um, and I think, you know, these boys developing, I think um, when they get sort of a bit older, they'll, they'll remember little things like that, and they'll say, do you know what, I got fucking told, that's how it is. So, listen. Was it no decision this week to pick him? No, 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 brilliant keeper, fantastic, really exciting keeper. Um, so, delighted, mate. I don't think it made any difference today at all to the match. Sure. So, like I said, we've got York City. What, what are you expecting from York City? Well, they're just like in, um, you know, every game in this division. Uh, they're not in great form. Uh, I watched their last match. I thought they played well. It's Wilson, uh, yeah. I think uh, I watched the, in the first in the first sort of half hour. Um, I could have been four 0 up, mate. To be fair, I think they're going to give us a great game. I think the team we've picked, uh, you know, uh, give a good account as well. What's been overlooked at the moment? You know, due to our little defensive um, faculties, is, is that Seeger and Ottawa are scoring every game. And uh, if we were keeping clean sheets, people would be talking about that. Yeah. Um, they would be. Because we'd be going up the table. Uh, well, they would be going, look, you know, Harry and Ryan are, are really doing a great job up there. You know, we, we are definitely not toothless. We're scoring goals. Um, Nicky's back out on the wing today. I'd really expect that delivery to be something else and give them a problem. Uh, Niles going back out on the wing. Um, to want to be a little bit more rigid. Um, you know, it's all good and well. I know you want the Briggses of the world out there and the Pattendons and Newitz, but you know, there's a lot of good form. A lot of good, lot of good form. You know, you some. You look at that South End and looked at the, the boy that plays on the right side there. Our mate Bridge. from Hemel. Oh, what Scott Morris? Sorry, big pardon. There you go, Scott Morris. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. So, so yeah, there's a little bit. It's got a bit more of a wondrous feel about this team today. A lot, of, a lot of experience and stuff like that. But you could be, mate. They're going to be obviously good. Is it a good league? Sure. So, uh, obviously, a friendly on Tuesday was a good run out for the boys, no doubt, wasn't it? Good run out for Fuller yeah. uh, and, and Kennedy and some of the other guys that needed minutes. So, uh, the team looking out, I spoke to uh, Louis, the, the, or not physio, the, uh, what, the strength and conditioning guy, and he said, uh, it's just mat fitness, mat fi fitness now the players need, isn't it? But the lads who are coming back need mat fitness. Yeah, we, we, yeah exactly that. It's, it's quite annoying at the moment because... We're picking, to pick the 11 we want to pick, we've already got to tee up the subs to come on. Mm. You look at today, Harris and Fuller, two boys starting today at the back that have not played. Mm. Will they see the game out? We Our subs, there's boys out there like Alfie Egan that I really want to get involved, he's been great. But right now we have to really sort of like, I think Alfie Egan, by the way, would be a big player for us before the season's out. He's joined us mid-season. Yeah, always hard, isn't it? And you know, he's got to evolve into the team whilst we're playing and competing for valuable points. In hindsight, that's a tough job for yep. him and for me to do. But today, yeah, some of these boys on the side, they're not missing out because they're any worse than the next bloke. It's because we've got players playing and we need to have changes that actively, mm. you know, are going to take care of boys that might not see the 90 out, so. Is it, I know having a big squad is helpful, but is that sometimes can be a hindrance sometimes? No, well? no, not if they're the right people. If they're the right people, mate, they know the gig. Uh, we're trying to what, get mentally right, knowing what they're... Yeah, yeah, as long as they don't, you know, I mean... Throw their toys out of the pan. Yeah, I mean, what I would say is that the minute we've got something to build on and the minute we start going, ah, old type, we, we, you know, we'll, you know, we'll, um, we'll be sticking with what we've got. So my point is, like, everybody's playing for something. That's the bottom line, mate. So I'm always honest with them as, as to where they are and, and where I see them. And obviously some of these boys are really struggling to get a foothold like Mecky because he's been injured and... He's not played, and Alpha Egan, Archie Proctor's come here, but he's here for two and a half years. We're not in a position at the moment. The club's not about Archie Proctor or Alpha Egan. The club's about Dawkins Wonders. It ain't about Mark White. It's about Dawkins Wonders. It's about making sure that we get results, and therefore team involvement. And that's what the Archie Proctors and Egans of this world are. That team involvement has to come second to that. Sure. It'd be nice to get to the second half of the season. And then with four or five more wins under our belt, be able to go right. Today, you know, Proctor's starting to get a run in that back three. He's a perfect, you know, signing for that area. So yeah, mate, that's where we are. 
got a busy note, uh, December coming up, obviously. We've got today, Maidenhead away, Mason yep. at home, uh, Chesterfield away, and then the trophy with Oval Town. So, oh, no doubt, the squad will be used over those over the month of December, plus the Boxing Day and New Year's Day. Yeah, I hate saying it, but you know how football works, mate. If someone's going to take one, someone's going to take an injury, someone's going to have a problem, there'll be a bit of formal along the way. You know, that's how it is, mate. We've got a lot to play for. I feel like there's a... I feel like, I'll be honest, considering the... Considering the manner of these, the frustration um, that we're all feeling is actually because we're playing well. Because we're, we're one of only two part-time teams. Two of arguably our best three players are, are out long-term. Our captain got injured in the last pre-season game. He's only played four matches all year, right? Um, we've had a load of issues. And to a degree, if you were struggling every week and you couldn't get near anyone, the fans would probably be more, more supportive, wouldn't they? They'd be like, oh, come on, Wanderers, you know. But I think the frustration is we're outplaying most people. So you go home going, oh, for fuck's sake, you know, come on. So what I would say, these boys are in a great place. They're not bottlers. No. I'm not a bottler. They're not a bottler. We're completely fucking fine, mate. Long season, long month. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to entertaining the fans today. Just a little update on Alfie uh, Rutherford, seeing him walking around. So, obviously, he had a, his art operation, I presume, yeah, did he? Yeah, unbelievable, mate. Yeah, he's, he's got, like, protective stuff on him. It's unbelievable really? he turned up today. <laughs> yeah. I felt sick just looking at him. He's got a scar of bloody, you know, eight foot long. Um, fair play, mate. What a major op for a young man that is. He's, yes. But I'm so pleased with him. It's out the way and it went to plan, given he spent his whole life knowing he had to have that op. And he's now got to wait about six to eight weeks before it's safe to operate on his yeah. problem. And then it'll be another nine, ten months. Yeah. So nine listen, to ten months. Wow. Well, yeah, same with Briggs, same injury. So yeah, of course. Um, but we are we fully support our players. <laughs> you know, this boy's going to be fully paid the whole time. We fully support our boys, um, and we and they, and they always repay that loyalty. You know, not just the boy, but everyone around them, which is great. I know we don't want to. Last, this is my last question. Sorry, I know we don't want to. But the reason he couldn't go play professional because when they had a, uh, the medical, they knew that he had a dodgy ticker or whatever. Yeah. So if he now it's been sorted and he and he could could he kick on to playing a uh, football league or whatever or well, not? He's playing professional now, isn't he? Really? Yeah, but yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a bit of a. Not a facade, but I just think like, yeah, the insurers wouldn't touch him. Um, but yeah, listen, he could make, do you know what I mean? But he's obviously going to be a long comeback, long comeback for Alfie, do you know what I mean? He's, that's going to be a long layoff, mate, to yeah. come back from. So we'll see how he gets on, mate. But you never know, by then, mate, he might be, uh, the, the Wanderers might be there. Definitely. Okay, Mark, thanks for your time. Cheers, mate. And I'll uh, speak to you after. Cheers, about. All the best.